Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. We're taking a look at the Beck American Translation. We used to call it when I worked at Berean Beck's Bible and sold, you know, fair for what I call kind of boutique Bibles, sold a fair amount. So again, thanks for being here. Let's take a little look at it. We're just on Wikipedia. And it's Beck's American Translation is an abbreviated version of the Holy Bible, an American translation by William F. Beck. Um, the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, Concordia Publishing House, published his An American Translation, the New Testament, in the language of today in 63. In the preface of the 76th Bicentennial Edition, written by Herman Otten, states, now this is very important to kind of see his mindset. Dr. Beck wrote on a hospital bed while under oxygen shortly before his death, October 24, 1966, in a statement titled, My Old Testament. Promotion of my translation will run up against special difficulties with my exact translation of the prophecies in every doctrinal passage. Modernist powers use all their tricks and tyranny to oppose a Christ-centered Bible. So, um, he tried to be very conservative with it. Now, I'm clicking on a little link here of who William F. Beck is. He was born on August 28, 1904, died October 24, 1966. He was born in Little Falls, uh, Minnesota. He got a Doctor of Theology in Concordia Seminary in Clayton, Missouri, 1927. Um, his work was the first translation of the Bible into English completed by a Lutheran minister. I'm assuming they mean besides Martin Luther. To commemorate the achievement, a copy was placed in the Lutheran's uh, Luther House in Wittenberg, Germany, January 1st, 1976. He hoped that the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod would adopt it as their official translation, but this did not happen. And this is fascinating, too. Beck also worked as a technical advisor on several Hollywood films that had biblical themes. So a lot of people don't re remember, you know, like you had Jesus of Nazareth and Ben-Hur and uh, Moses, the Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston, a lot of biblical themes. So it's just another in a long line of uh, English Bible translations and it says it's used the Masoretic text of the Old Testament and various Greek texts in the New Testament. So meant to be uh, conservative, but uh, may have in some instances, especially in the New Testament, just used what I would consider inferior manuscripts. But God bless you. Thanks for being with us today. Join us daily. Hit subscribe, bell notification, share with your friends, family, church family, Sunday school classes, and put it on social media. Join us daily. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.